this is um, basically what pharmaceutical companies and scientists should have done. And they should have, you know, they did have a control group for a short while, but then they vaccinated them all. So now we've got nothing to compare the vaccinated and unvaccinated, so we thought we'd do it ourselves. So Dini and her husband Darren, who's a, a data analyst, you know, he's really good. He, they built the website, he's doing all the data, and um, we've got around 35,000 participants from around the world so far, um, in every continent, and we, we need bigger numbers, really, so that we're not ignored. And we're, so we're, have a proper comparison? Yeah, 100%, and we're just about to launch another... This is to find out, see what happens. Health, health outcomes. Health outcomes, whether you've been vaccinated or not. We know from the yellow card system, you know, people that have been vaccinated, their health, you know, exactly. So Percentage of them have been recorded. Yeah, and we know that data will come out saying, um, you know, the percentage of blood clots has risen in recent times and all this stuff. And we want to actually say, well, hang on a minute, the people in our control group, that's not true. Hasn't changed. Yeah, so, it, you know, is it the vaccine? We want to show that. And, um, also, we want to protect children, you know, the, the one reason why we're all doing this is for our children. I've got three children, dini has got three children and one at university who might not even be able to complete their degree. I've got a child that's GCSE age and I've had to take all three out of school. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll take them out. Yeah. Even though, even though you, even though they, they're aware, even though they're aware that they, they're not going to consent if they're sort of my children, yeah. yeah, my children are fully aware, but I don't trust anything. And also, my children have been through so much that I felt like, you know, sending them to school with restrictions and set bubbles, and you know, and my daughter seven, she came home with bleeding, cracked, dry hands, because and crying of because of the gel. I even sent in a doctor's letter saying she's she's um, allergic. Please don't give it to her anymore. And they still work. But I'm not having it. So I wouldn't vaccinate them without consent. They wouldn't, they, 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 they wouldn't force them to vaccinate if, them. if the parents have not consented. No, no, no. no. They, they, well, no, they're saying from the age of 12. 12, 12 can consent. But if your, kid, if your child says no, I don't want the vaccine. I, I honestly don't trust anything. And I'm really sorry. It depends on the child. I'm it sorry depends. to say, but look what's happening. Yeah. And look what's happening around the world. You know, we've got members from all over the world on our Telegram group, so we know what's happening in all the countries, and it's not good news, and I think it's going to get worse here. And I don't, I just don't trust them. You don't, you cannot, you cannot risk it with children. But this is why we're doing this, so that you can sign your children up, and they can get their own ID card that says they're part of the child, and they must not be vaccinated. You know, it's just a way. Yeah. And can I also tell you about one more thing we've just done? So, so with the UK uh, Medical Freedom Alliance, um, we've just we've just got a form on our website. So if you go to our website under resources, um, there's an actual um, an exemption form, vaccine exemption form. So if you um, there's a self declaration one, you can print off and sign yourself to self declare yourself as medically exempt, which is recognised by the government. The self declaration is. And there's yep. Yeah, and there's one that um, you can get signed by a doctor as well. And we're trying to get doctors on board to sign these for us. We've got a at the moment, but they're charging, and we want them to do it for free. I've met a few today that are going to get contacted. We are speaking to some really high up, yeah, high up professors. That's controlgroup.com, and we're on Telegram. So VCG chat, VCG chat. We've got a couple of groups on there. There's a questions group. There's a kindness group. There's support. Uh, there's a university student group, we've got quite a few groups going. So yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take another one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We need to be more like you. Bless you. Thank you very much. Do you go to a stand in the world and stuff inside?